从五月就展开的好莱坞编剧罢工越演越烈，上万剧作家高喊不干了。不像二零零七年的罢工潮，这一次编剧要面对更多的挑战。Now there's a strike, and there are streaming sites where you can watch an almost unlimited amount of material while we're on strike. So just in that way, you can see how striking now has possibly less impact. Than when we struck in 07 and 08. 不同于当年只面对串流平台强势来袭，这次除了串流影音收益分配让编剧们感到不满 ，AI 新科技的威胁更是近在眼前。编剧协会要求对于 AI 影视作品的生成应该有更严格的规范，但制作公司却不愿做出保证。The studios, their statement on AI acknowledges ambiguity around the emerging technology. And proposes annual discussions before landing on an official regulatory agreement. The alliance's unwillingness to outline strict policies around generative AI tools has led to a stalemate. 现在就连大咖明星，包括梅丽史翠普等，都宣布同进退。演员工会虽然宣布延后协商期限，但 AI 议题同样成为关注重点。要求片商如果使用 AI 来复制演员的声音或是形象，需要演员的同意，并且支付薪资。积极要求对 AI 做出规范，实在是这项新技术来势汹汹。I think the place that we are going to as a society is prompt. To entertainment, literally being able to type in, I want to see an action movie, and I want it to be funny, and I want it to take place in Texas. Go, and it spits out、uh, a movie. 但 AI 生成的内容虽然看起来是全新的影音，但其实是现有素材的混合体。AI 制片人认为，大部分的素材都是有版权的，搬上大小荧幕的方式将引起争议。因此，认为 AI 直接制作影音内容的可行性其实还很有限。但只要使用得当，还会成为编剧的最好伙伴。Writers will be able to show what the final product will look like. Uh, in the writers' room, that has never been possible before. Writers now are going to have more power than ever before to direct these creative projects. 但剧作家却没有这么乐观，对 AI 插足编剧或是影片制作行业还是抱持负面看法。I think the idea that AI would democratize entertainment is absolutely ridiculous. What that's really saying is that the unskilled and the untalented would be able to pretend that they are skilled and talented. 分析师认为，随着科技进步，传统媒体势必受到不断的冲击，但内容才是能突破重围的必杀武器。I look back in the days of when YouTube first started, and there was this idea that because YouTube is this open platform and anyone can create videos, that users themselves would replace studios out there creating all their own content because it was free to upload, it was free to stream. But the reality is, we're all looking for the best content. But with video, it's storytelling. And I believe you have to have a human to really tell that story. 靠着 AI 新科技，所有的精彩还有天马行空，看似是自动生成，但仍然是大量创作人的心血堆叠。相关版权争议规范难以厘清，对编剧还有片商来说 ，AI 应用恐怕还是一道难解习题。TVBS 新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。